What's going on everybody? I'm at Barnes & Noble. I haven't started a video off here in a long time. They haven't really had anything. Um, so hopefully they have a nice restock. So we'll see. All right, so as you guys see, they did have um, quite a bit of stuff. It's a little windy, so I go, hope you guys can hear me. Um, all I ended up getting was some Lorcana Disney for my daughter. We'll open that off camera. All right, so I'm here at my Target and all they have is just hockey, good win. They, have, they do have soccer. I'm probably gonna take one of these. Uh, maybe I'll take both and make a short out of it. I do like soccer. My buddy collects it, so he'll be happy to see it. They do have the new Larkana. Uh, usually this stuff is like the first thing gone, so I'm surprised they still have that. Maybe a lot of people aren't into that anymore. And then we have our Pokemon and Digimon section right there. But yeah, so we'll just go ahead and grab these two. All right, so as you guys seen, I did find two blaster boxes of Prism um, EPL, English Premier League. Um, I did open them up, and as you guys can see on the screen, uh, this is the card that I got. Some of you guys might recognize the name Ansu Fati because um, a lot of people were pumping them up back in the day, and dude was just riddled with injuries. Victoria's Achilles, all that bad stuff. All right, so they do have these. I'm probably gonna get this. I do like these. And then they have, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this. They have, they have these mega boxes. And then they have these mega boxes. So, so weird. They have more EPL and then One Piece. And then they have the little packs right here. Um, but, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen these two like different mega boxes at Target. Usually like that's Walmart and that's Target. So I'm not sure why that's different. Then they also have uh, hanger boxes. These are pretty good. I do need like 10 more cards. So I'm gonna take that box. Hopefully the 10 cards that I need are in that. And I almost missed it. They do have prism packs. Right What's going on everybody? So I'm back and as you guys can see, I did pick up or as you guys seen i did pick up this monster box i'm gonna go ahead and rip this thing open the super box contains 10 series one packs one collector pin one oversized card one companion card and five exclusive silver border cards and on the back of the box you can see they are displaying all of the inserts that you can hit you can get the heavy lumber autos right here you guys can see it's going to be probably the most sought after card in the super box ellie de la cruz okay so my oversized card was the um rafael devers and then the companion card was the freddie freeman the packs uh, like last year they're all glued together so i'll try to separate those So I do have the packs <laughs> all spread out. One little critique. I don't like that they glue each pack together. Pokemon does a great job of just putting the packs in there. They don't really move when they're in their spot. Um, so yeah, I wish they would just not glue them, especially because the glue kind of gets everywhere. So my pin is gonna be Jason Dominguez. So I am going to be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys stick around um, so you guys know what the giveaway is going to be. So this is our silver foil packs. We got Bruce Dark Gratterall, Nathan Ovaldi, Jose Ferrer, Mickey Moniak, and Walker Bueller. So nice Mickey Moniak for the PC. We'll take that. Um, the only rookie we got was Jose Ferrer. I did open up, um, so I did buy two hanger boxes, and in those hanger boxes, I did get um, a few hits. Um, as you guys can see on the screen, I did get I did get a large Noob bar that is numbered to seven ninety nine. That's one of the retail exclusive purples, as well as uh, Justin Martinez, Merrill Kelly, the the uh, yellow foil. Those are pretty rare. Um, they actually sell really well. Jose Rodriguez on the rainbow foil and then a Bobby Miller that is also numbered to 999 325 out of 999 if you guys are interested in any of those my eBay is linked down below so go ahead and check that out I do need a few more cards for the set and this time around I will put the cards um, down in the link 
down in the description below i will put the cards that i need um, i have been in contact with a few people that are um, offering to send me some of the base cards got a nice corbin carroll home run uh home run challenge card pete alonzo luke rally and astros team card and jorge mateo but they only had a few of the cards that i needed so actually i'll put a um I'll put a picture up of the cards that I need as well up on the screen right here. Um, like I said, I am trying to complete the binder. If I get any of the cards in today's rip, you guys will see it. Oh, we got a Fernando Tatis. Oh my goodness. Yes. Some of you guys know this is my PC dude right here. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. And the reason being is because I don't know if you guys knew, but so unfortunately I had to sell a bunch of my cards kind of to help fund some family stuff that's been going on. Um, and I sold my home field advantage, um, Fernando Tatis to help, um, you know, some of the funds that we've been needing as a family and man i was so sad to see that card go go and it's just crazy how things just come back full circle i'm super excited for that card that's why that's why i just got so excited because i it hurt to to get rid of it but i'm so happy to get this one uh, unfortunately i did sell my juan soto and a few other cards um like i said it was tough to get rid of but you know they went to a good cause so i was um, okay to let those cards go all right next pack man that was so much fun oh, i can't believe it that was that was awesome so that's the I, I think that's the first time i've ever pulled oh no yeah that's the first time i've ever pulled a home field advantage card um in one of my videos we got a we got ty cobb Oh, and then another Fernando Tatis. So this is going to go in the binder for sure. That home field advantage is going to go to PSA. Um, going to get that graded for sure. They're doing a nice little special right now. I believe they're charging like 14 or 15 bucks for cards. 14 or 14 or 15 bucks per card, per, per sports card. Uh, for modern cards right now so that's going to be going out there we got a bobby miller so as you guys saw earlier i do have an ebay store so some of these cards you'll see them in my ebay store and then we do have a nice ellie de la cruz rookie insert 2023 greatest hits beautiful card so far we've been having a great opening um i don't have that ellie de la cruz so happy to have that in the collection and like I said, as I go through this uh, rip, the, this box has been fantastic so far. Oh my goodness. So as I go through these cards, um, you guys are gonna see if I do um, end up needing any of these cards for my binder. You guys will see me putting that in there. Um, like I said, it's uh, it's a beautiful set. That's why I started uh, That's why I started the binder. I really, really like the look of the cards. I feel like it was a very unique um, set. I don't think I've ever seen a set kind of that resembles this where it's like neon and black and white. Um, I have seen the two tone, the black, you know, in sets before. We got a nice blue parallel, Nick Senzel. It's the, um, that was the retail exclusive blues. Is, um, those are, um, you can only find those in retail products but yeah like i was saying just i'm just i'm just a really big fan of the way that the cards look um big fan of this set in general and then you know you do have some great rookies in this in this class like ellie de la cruz henry davis to name a few we got another backwards card this is going to be o'neill cruz rainbow foil it's a great looking card this dude he's probably going to have a bounce back season um i i believe that if he wouldn't have got hurt he would have been uh he would have had a great season last year we got a nice Juan Soto. this is the architect 
what is it called? I forgot what they're called. Architect something. Or. Oh my goodness. I f I'm blanking out. I can't believe I forgot what it's called. <laughs> oh my goodness. But anyway, inserts are great. I'm probably going to start uh, a chase for a different set. Maybe, um, maybe like the inserts or something because i know i don't have all the inserts but i'll probably end up putting the, the inserts together as well we got a nice nolan arenado and a marco luciano marco luciano doesn't have that many cards um or it's one of these guys that doesn't have a lot of rookie cards um i don't think it's marco luciano i think it's somebody else i think they just have like inserts they don't have a base like rookie card i could be wrong i i thought i heard strike striker breaks talk about that um but like i said i could be wrong and i don't remember exactly who he was talking about but i do know that he mentioned that um some of the rookies didn't have uh, base cards got a nice fernando tatis right there dude has been popping up everywhere peter lonzo and a jordan alvarez stars of the mlb all right last pack of this uh like i said i am doing a giveaway i'm gonna be giving away this pin to one lucky winner all you gotta do is leave a comment down below what was your favorite card out of the the break um i do so some of you guys may be sticking around uh this far i do have some crazy news i might be going what is this congratulations major league materials julio rodriguez what in the world player worn memorabilia that is man what a box what a freaking box that is amazing right there Whoo! what a way to end it like i was saying i am working on becoming a full-time content creator we got ellie de la cruz um that is gonna I'm gonna be able to free up a lot of my time to be able to edit videos kind of like this one, a little bit different style, put more effort into the videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a, make sure you leave a like, comment down below to be entered into the giveaway. And remember, stay lively.